which is the better VSRG, Osumania or Eterna? Well, you are about to find out today. We will be comparing the two games together, from the UI, gameplay, maps and everything else. Let's get started. First, Osumania. It is one of the most, if not the most popular VSRG out there. Even if you have not played it, you might have seen it on your YouTube feed somewhere. Osumania itself is not its own game, it's a part of Osu, which itself has 4 modes. Osumania was added in 2012, making the game 12 years old. Now, let's analyze the UI. Osu's UI is actually very nice, but the problem is, if you are a new player and you boot up the game for the first time, it just throws your ass in. No explanation for anything. From the start menu here on out, you are on your own and you have to figure out everything yourself. Like how to download maps, how to get new skins, how to change your score speed. You get my point. In my opinion, this is really bad game design because it's forcing the player to go out to external sources. But games like Terraria and Subnautica get a pass on this since there's so much stuff in the game. But Osu doesn't have that many things for you to know how to play the game. So why do I need to go outside of the game to play this shit, man? For Eterna... What? Told you I'd get you back. If you're wondering what's going on, I'm taking over the channel because Cynix couldn't behave on April 1st. With that said, let's cover Eterna. Eterna was released in 2017. Although, don't get fooled. The game is based on the Code of Stepmania, which was released in 2001. It is older than the entire OS community. Eterna is a bit more niche. Its community is much, much smaller in size compared to Osu's, and Eterna itself suffers from Osu's issues, but on a worse scale. When you boot up the game for the first time, there are no tutorials or anything at all that guides you through the game, so you must also go out to look up how to play the game. The website does not help either in this regard, the UI is worse than Osu's, although they are currently working on fixing it. At least in Eterna, the default skins are actually playable, unlike whatever the f Osu has. Now on to the gameplay. For Osu's game. Hope he didn't annoy you frogs too much. Anyways, on to the gameplay section. Osu Mania's engine is very lenient if you know it well. You can mimic the patterns very easily, especially on lower ODs. And long nodes have this thing called release timing, which makes you have to release on time. But for Eternas, I left. Now for Eternas engine. Compared to Osu, it's much, much stricter. You can still manip, but it punishes more. Though, unlike Osu Mania, Eterna actually allows you to choose your health drain in judgments, with the strictest one being Justice. But most people will probably play Judges 4 and 5, and if they want to train their accuracy, they would want to try Judge 7. Eterna doesn't have release timing, which is very BASED. With this in mind, the long notes are not even recognized as a skill set there. This is a much better engine than Osumania's, and it will make you improve faster than you would if you were on Osumania. Now on to the maps. Stop killing me, man. Alright, time for the maps. And it's not even a competition. Eterna beats Osu by a landslide. Like literally, most of Osumania's most popular maps are from Eterna. Why are Eterna's maps so good at making bangers? The reason is, is that they have no rules for getting their maps ranked. While Osumania's rules are... Osumania's rank section is filled with either very easy or long note maps. Not to say they are bad, but they are not enjoyable. There's a reason why Eterna's maps are so popular there. They are fun to play. Osu should just take a note from Eterna and delete their entire rules section. Now on to their ranking systems. <sighs> this is getting tiring. For Osu's ranking system, after you finish a map, it gives you performance points based on what score you got and the star rating of the map. The system would have been fine if it didn't favor the goddamn long notes. They inflate the map star rating without even increasing the difficulty that much. So if you can't play long notes, just give up. 
there are very few farmable rice maps. In the meantime, Eterna's ranking system is the same thing as also. You finish a map and get a rating based on the score and difficulty of the map. The thing that is different with Eterna is that you can guarantee that whatever skill set you specialize in, it is most definitely gonna get ranked on there. Since they rank any maps that get submitted, you can freely play whatever you want and be sure that you will get a fair rating. So, in conclusion, yourself. <laughs> Stay d this time, please. So, in conclusion, which is better? The answer is none. You can play whatever one you prefer. I'm just kidding, it's Eterna. Of course it's Eterna. It just has a better everything. A better engine, a better scoring system, and better maps. UI is a bit clunky, but that's all. So please, if you can get the hang of it, you should pick Eterna over Osu. You will improve much faster on it than you would on Osu. But if there's something most communities share, is that at least we don't play Quake. Make sure to like and subscribe to me and unsubscribe from Lonely. And that was all. Bye. More like I hope to see you next time. And stay down!